Hello, all you imps, pixies, and other fighting fae folk. It is me, the Hobby Hobbit. This is a channel where we like to play with all kinds of artsy, craftsy things, but we're master of none. So we do like to learn together. Okay, so we are working on our black and white and gray all over journal. I think that's just what I'm going to call it. And this is what I'm thinking for the outside cover. This is one of the signature covers. Since both of them are exactly the same other than color, I think I'm going to use this as my template for this. Let me see if I can get this lighting up anymore. Does the cool look better? Is that better? I think that's better. Okay, so what I'm planning on doing, I think I'm going to, basically there's an inch left over. I want to leave a half an inch instead because that should give room for the two signatures to be sewed in and room for them to grow. And what I want to do is score that half inch so that it folds a little bit nicer instead of just a, a fold in the middle, if you're following me. All right, so what we're going to do here, butt this up. It wasn't until actually reading through this that I realized what I was doing wrong when I first tried using this thing because I couldn't get 12 to line up to 12 at all. So here's my half mark right here. And what I've done down here, I figure give it a little bit of room, give or take across the top for it to grow. So that's what I'm marking here. So we're going to come all the way down here so I can lift this up so that I can mark this. Oh, I did it upside down. Okay, make sure this is butted in there nice and right. And then this will be my half an inch mark. Okay, so that should be my half an inch. And then we are going to rotate this so that I can get this about where I want it to be. Oh, huh. let's just check that before we go to getting crazy cutting. I want it to be a little bit more. Okay. And that's actually just about perfect where I marked that. Look at that. Now I'm going to lightly erase this. Because we're going to make use of this. I've got an idea for the tags that we made that we're going to work on today. And that other, just so that you guys know, the other half, I went ahead and cut those into tags too. Because I just kept looking at them and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I can give one of these as a giveaway to you guys. Because we now have a 13th member to our happy little family. So I'm thinking about doing a lucky 13 draw. If you would be interested in joining in, uh, comment your name below. And everybody that comments, I will put their name in a pile. I will draw it and then get in touch with that person and let them know that they won a tag. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. So if you're watching this and you just happen to find me by chance, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and liking my videos. It does help my channel grow. And like I said, we want to be a fun little community here where we can live, love, and learn. <laughs> right. So what I want to do is I want to... Actually, it'll be easier if I just do it on this side. But we just lost our power. That's going to be fun. Hold that thought. Okay, we're back. That was just a quick little 30-second power outage. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I need to mark or score where this is. So this goes, I really feel like I'm going to booger this up. I feel like I'm not doing this right. And uh, math and I are not good friends. Really all I want is a half inch between these. So if we've got one and a half and halfway, if I'm at 12, six is halfway, but and I have another half on that. Wait, what am I doing wrong? Mark it here at six. This is what I should have done all along. And then mark it here at six and a half. See? If if you talk it through on yourself, you'll you'll get there. It's just a matter of finding that talking it through point. All right, so we want to score down this half line because this is going to be the spine. 
and then we want to score down this line. So then what we'll have it'll be like a little teeny tiny book and then our signatures will be sewn in along here so that when they're in this will have room to grow. Hold just a moment. Be right back in a moment. And we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. We had our power outage and had to go help my mom get her TV resorted. We have the worst trouble with her TV. It's not user friendly at all. It does not like the cable box and does not work well with it. So it's always a hassle and a, a huge mess. You've got to go in through her TV remote to go to settings to pick the auxiliary um, HDMI in order for her to use her cable remote. The slightest little hiccup, fart or anything, and it knocks it all out of whack and you've got to go back in and reset it. And bless her, she can't see to do so. Anyways, what I was saying was, now that these fit in real nice just like this, so it has room to grow because the other one that we just did got pretty darn chunky. Let's just bring this bad boy back out. As you can see, oh, the tape came off. Probably because I shoved it in where I was holding it. Really rough. Marvel, be good. But anyways, as you can see, this got really, really chunky really fast. So I'm just kind of putting this in between some stuff I have on my back little shelving cubby thing. Um, just putting them back there to hold it because I think I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Anyways, so this is my thought for this. Now, now we can mount... Our pretty picture if we want which we might do we may do that but I might save that for one of the last things because I don't want to booger up the cover too much by messing with it and shoving it underneath where I'm storing it etc except where did the pretty cover go where did it go oh there it is Marvel quit it so sorry. He has a yum yum that he was given, not for me. And he's growling at Mr. Um, Jeffy because Jeffy's in the room sneaking at it and looking at it. Let me just give Jeffy another one of these other yums. Maybe that'll stop him. There. There, you little piglet. Right. Let's crack on. So, ephemera etc. We have tags. And what I was thinking with this was what if we backed some of the tags with this and then put some of these smaller pieces onto like we could put this, this, and this onto three of the tags. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Yep, we're doing it. Okay. Oh, glad I saw that. Ooh, we could put some of these on. Maybe we'll just do this one just to see it play out. See it because it may be too small. So we'll do this one. Um, and then we can do a couple of the flowers because these are two different flowers. Yeah. We can just cut that out and cut that out. I don't know. Let's just look and see what we can do. Now then, how can we line this up so that we're not losing a whole bunch of the other stuff? Oh, I know. Okay, I know. Okay, let's just put this here. I don't want that cut. We're going to do this. And then... And then, oh, I just cut into the birds. Whoops. Still getting used to where this thing lies. That's okay. We got us where we need to. And we have more birdies. Right. I'm going to put this aside now. Uh, 
that even set up. Oh, that's made that really small, hasn't it? That's okay. That could make a band. Does that look crooked? Yes. Okay. That's more even which means this one is crooked. That's okay. So we've got these two. I think I like the idea of using this as a band. This, yeah, we're not going to worry about this too much. That's going straight in the trash pile because I can't really salvage that. Now let's use this for measurement. Okay, that's going to be pretty spot on. That's going to be a little bit too long. Let's go ahead and take a shave off because I do want a little bit of that black to show. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is impossible to take these off of. Now, where is the, and then I wanted to, why don't I just get this little bit down here? Let's just get this guy. Yep. Oh, does that need to be straightened up? I think so. And then this one, we could fussy cut it. I like that idea. Let's do that. So I guess we're making four of these tags, and I didn't know it. <laughs> but if I want to give one away for our lucky 13th subscriber giveaway. Why not, right? Let's make four. That's assuming one of you guys would want something that I'm making. That's a pretty big assumption, I'm aware. Okay, that is straighter, and I think that looks just about perfect. I kind of want to cut that off. Yep. Yep, like that. I think it was Camellia, Juliet Camellia Craft Designs who turned these into pockets. We might do that. So we've got a tag, a pocket on a tag. Yeah, we might do that. And then put a, another tag underneath it, if we remember. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Oh, fussy cut. That's what I was doing. See, got myself all discombobulated there. We're just going to try and make this as pretty as possible. As pretty as possible. Now, uh, this is the first time I've fussy cut anything. So I'm not going to claim to be an expert. As we've said, this is a learning channel. And I won't edit anything out. So if I royally mess this up, y'all will get my genuine reaction. I'm trying to think. Well, I kind of fussy cut those weird stamps, the stamps of the stamps that I threw away the other day because they just weren't very good stamped um, finished product. Of course, they were pretty cheap stamps. I can't remember where I got them. I don't know if they were an AliExpress or whether they were an Amazon thing or not. But I'm going to tell you this. I need to start watching what I'm buying 
simply because I look at the images and then I don't always read the descriptions. Case in point, I spent quite a bit of money thinking I was getting die cuts, uh, the metal die. I don't know if those are called dies or die cuts, but I thought I was getting those and it turns out I wasn't. I was getting the paper product. So I was kind of disappointed in that because um, I spent a lot of money thinking I was getting these because I was like, oh, that's cheap. And then when the, the seller said, oh, well, I'll have to cut them, I thought she had some machine to cut the metal die cuts. So I was like, oh, cool, she cuts her own. No wonder she can sell them so cheap. <laughs> so that was fun. That was a fun realization. And then I went back and said, yeah, no, it doesn't say anything about the metal die cuts. But it did say that my color choices, I get four of my color choices. Well, there was never a discussion about what color choices I want. So I'm like, technically, some of this stuff came in colors I would never have chosen. Do I email her and say, hey, look, we didn't discuss colors. Um, can I get a refund on this? Or do I just live and let it learn and support that it's someone's home business and hope that someone would be this generous with me when and if I'm able to, you know, make money on some of the stuff that I've created if it's not up to what they think is I think I'm just going to let it go and just say, okay, lesson learned. She did get it out to me incredibly fast. Um, I mean, props to her for that. It's, and I think it's, it's my mistake for not reading into it. I didn't even know that I could have had my choice in colors because I thought I was getting the metal die. So I'm just going to mark that up to that's my fault. Yeah, I like that, guys. What do you think? Yeah, I like that a lot. Now, do we... No, I'm not. Hmm. Now, where I'm at with this is, do I want. That's not quite even. Do I want to maybe uh, grunge this in gray or black? Or do I want to let it ride? That's not quite. Let's get over one. Come on, lift up. And that's not even either. I want these to be even. So I'm going to scooch back a, a smidge because I'm going to have to cut from the other side too. Okay. I mean, if this is going to potentially be a giveaway item, I want it to look as good as I can possibly make it. Okay, let's move this over just a smudge. Yeah. Yep, I'm happy with that now. That is square. Yep. Okay. And then we have these. I think I have enough to make out of all of these. Now the question is, is do we want, first let me make sure that this is all even. I will say this is really handy tool to check to see if your stuff's even. Yep, that's even. Do we want to, can I get four the same size? One, two, three, yes I can. So if this is 11 and a half inches, we'll say, ooh, frick, it's math again. Um, Marvel, stop. Um, what if we do one, two, and a half? Every two and a half inches, two and a half, five, Seven and a half, ten. That would work. Let's do two and two and three quarters and hope that works. So I want two and three quarters. Two 
two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. Oh, no. But Oh my gosh, this dog, he's driving me nuts. He's about to get a little tap on the hiney if he doesn't stop. Jeffy, go lay down. You, go lay down. Jeffy is sitting there right over Marvel, knowing Marvel is growling. That one I'm going to give to Mr. Marvel Man, because that was definitely Jeffy's bad. Okay, let's get these out of the way. I really want to get my shelves up in here so that I don't have to fight with this. I'm terrified I'm going to screw up my new desk by sliding this stuff on it. I just don't want to get electrocuted if I drill into the walls. Because I've never used a drill before and that's the kind of thing that would happen to this girl. Yup. 100%. I'd be like... Ugh. We're going to put the pretty side out. Did I make that? Okay. Go. Go on, Jeffy. He is back there standing right over marble. I need to cut that off a little bit. Because I don't want that bent part on here. There. So we can do that with that. Just make sure all these fit now that I've got them all measured out for math wise. All that struggle and they don't fit. Can you imagine? Yup. Welcome to the life of Michelle. We could put that maybe a little off kilter. No. Now the question is, does that look too much? Too much. Hmm. I want them all to be the same height so that we can use them as pockets. But what if we just took a sliver off? What if we took like half an inch off? Because then it wouldn't be so... Yeah, we're doing it. We're going to take a half inch off. See, because now it's still room for a pocket. But... That's much better. It doesn't look so lost in all that black space. Yeah. Yep. Okay, now here's my fear. We have to get this on center. And I need to, let's edge these. Let's grunge the edges. Let's go ahead and do that. So we've got this. We're going to go ahead and go with black soot. Jeffy, go lay down. I tell you, I have never known a critter that is so in love with food like that boy. We're going to grunge it up. We're going to grunge it up. We're going to use some black soot and grunge it up. We're going to what? We're going to grunge, grunge, grunge. A grunge, a grunge it up. And I am using one of my felt ones because I thought, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw this away afterwards because I don't want this soot getting everywhere so for the duration of the project i've got this felt one on but it's not going to stay in my packaging or where i keep all of my inks like i have so many i really don't i have maybe seven or eight of the big ones and then maybe 
I don't know, 12 or 14 of the smaller ones. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, yeah, baby. Now we're cooking. We gonna grind it up. We gonna what? Okay, so, like I said, Lucky 13 subscriber giveaway. Um, we're going to, I'll show you which one of these four tags afterwards. Uh, I'll label them one, two, three, and four. And then if you want in on the drawing, comment on the video, give it a thumbs up, and then let me know which one of the four tags you would like so that if you win, I can send that one to you. Uh, we'll say the contest closes. Uh, I'm trying to think of how far out I have these videos right now. Uh, this should go up on Friday, if my math is correct and remembering which ones. So we'll say uh, by next Friday. That'll give you guys all a chance to subscribe, like, and or comment. Yeah, it's for subscribers. I wish I knew the name of number 13. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why. I only get, sometimes I get to see the names of the new subscribers, and sometimes I don't. And so I don't think it's fair to give a shout out to one of you and not the others when I don't know all of your names or screen names, handles that you go by, it's just not fair to say, Hey, thank you to Tommy loves pinball at, you know, one, two, seven. When I don't know that Susan Smith loves her doctor husband was the next person that subscribed. It's just not fair. And I don't, if that's somebody who's out there, I don't know. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just made those names up but, uh, clearly. See, so, oh, I like that black ink on this. Oh, I like it a lot. Oh, I like it. Now that's making me want to grunge these. Oh, yes. It's happening, guys. It's happening. Oh, yeah. It's happening. I can't help it. It's happening. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So today, okay, I've got to tell you guys, I think I told you guys about my boots last week. I don't know what was going on. I put my feet into my warm, fuzzy boots, and I don't wear socks when I wear them because I end up walking out of them several times a day. I'm like having the worst trouble walking out of my socks when I wear the real fuzzy, ugh-like Ugg type boots. So uh, I just felt that my feet had the warm fuzzies on them and I jetted out the door. It wasn't until I got to work that someone said, hey, why are you wearing two different boots? This person is a known prankster and I'm like, yeah, whatever. You're just trying to get me to look down. He's like, no, I'm serious. I look down and I have a red boot and a black boot on. Different sizes, both fuzzy, you know, warm ones, but completely different sizes. Um, different manufacturers, you know, the whole shebang. So I'm like, I am not going home early today. I'm not going home to change and lose time. So I'm wearing these and I did. I wore them all day at work and didn't think twice about it. If we had someone who was having a bad day or seemed like they were having a rough time at things, I just silently walked backwards a few steps and pointed down and watched the facial recognition and the smile come across their face without ever saying a word. So why not make a bad situation a better one by making someone smile and make someone happy, right? I mean, that's what life should be about. Spread kindness. All right. Oh, I need to get in here. But you see what I mean by I don't want to get it like cross-contaminated with the other stuff. I mean, yeah, she ain't lying when she says she's black soot. 
anyways, fast forward to today and I get to work and I kind of run my hands down my shirt and I'm like, what the heck? And I look down and I see a tag and I'm like, what? And then I look at the seams. I had my shirt on inside out. And I looked around because the guy that pointed out my shoes was sure to notice this. So I rushed to the bathroom to flip my shirt inside out. Well, right side out. I don't know how, what, why, but that happened today. Yeah. So good times. So what's it going to be next? Pants? I, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. So do we want... Do we want to do a tuck, a pocket, and then the tag? I kind of want to. I don't know what else we're going to be making. But I kind of want to do, like, well, let's put it the right way around. Like, a pocket, pocket tag. I don't know if Camellia did that or not. Camellia. If um, Juliet Camellia Craft Designs did that or not, I'll try and find her video and link it. I'm trying to get better at doing that kind of stuff um, simply because I don't want to be like, oh, I'm thinking of this. I'm making this up. I know I'm, no, I'm not. I am heavily influenced by a few of the girls that do this stuff. Julie and Margaret at Seven Plaza. I've started watching... Um, enchanted dreams and then there's a miley i think her name is but i can't remember what her channel handle is yet so there's a few that i'm hey i got that up pretty darn straight she said as she swishes it around and then raise it too much on one side oh well, now it's stuck okay and then we'll put this here But I'm trying to go back after the fact. The thing is, is like I talk about these things while I'm filming and I'm not writing it down. And I don't go and edit my videos because I want you guys all to see my honest and true mistakes, my honest and true struggles or successes. So I don't go back and edit my, my videos. That's why some of them are super long. Some of them are not why you hear me apologizing for cussing in one of them because I let a swear word fly one time. Um, but I don't want to edit my stuff out and make it look like, oh, magically she was able to, ta-da! That's not the case. It's not a magical ta-da. For me, it's a struggle. I take time. I need to figure things out. I've got to talk it out in my head, which I'm now doing to the camera, uh, to figure things out. So this one is not, maybe we could do this one as a tuck. No, this one's just going to be like this. I'm sorry, but these can be pockets. This one is not, it's just going to be a, and I'm going to really push this down because I don't want this to heal up. Oh, I think I'm going to like doing this black and white and gray all over journal. So far, I'm digging these tags, and we haven't even gotten into the meat and bones of the channel or of the journal yet. Okay, let's stick you down. But yeah, I'll go back in and try and find the video, which the, the problem too with that is I watch so many videos and then just kind of take a mental note of what I want to do. You know, oh, I like that. I wonder if I can try that. Uh, that sometimes I can't find the videos because I'm watching stuff that maybe two years earlier on their channel. So I may not be able to go back and find it while I'm trying to do an upload to get it on the channel. So I do honestly want to credit everybody properly. That's why I'm trying to link their names. I uh, do the at and then do the link. That's what I'm trying to do in lieu of being able to find these because these girls have got a lot of videos up on their channel and 
it's it's hard to to whiff through them and sift through them and see i just cannot for the life of me draw a straight line with blue so it's kind of hard to try and make sure i can find that and remember which which youtuber it was and where on their channel it was Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. You guys, what are you thinking? Tell me. Oh, this is so pretty. And then I think the next one I know, going back to blue, but the other one was like a bluey purple. This one's going to be, I really like the blue china, the blue and white china. And so I think I'm going to order some paper packs that are blue and white china type patterns. I mean, it, you might think I have a problem, but I've got one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces, not including the tray that three of them sit on and the blue like soap dish that's in the same blue as the rest of them. Yeah, I have a little bit of a problem, but they're holding all my various little bits and bobs, bits and pieces, thingamajigs. Okay. Yep. So yeah, luckily nobody caught me wearing my shirt inside out today because that was a quick fix. And then all I could think about was, you know, you put deodorant on and sometimes it rubs on <laughs> your shirt. Is it going to be showing on the outside? But then I remembered, no, mine is clear. It's a clear drying, clear gel. So it should be fine. Should be fine. Oh yeah. See, this is just so pretty. See? And I haven't forgotten I do need to do my nails, but I want to do it on a day where I'm not running around like crazy after work. I had to go to Myers and I had to go to Walmart tonight. Had to change kitty litter real quick and mop the floor. And I know like my filming seems to be mostly about an hour for my videos. Now the first two in this black and white and gray all over journal seem to be about 30 minutes because it was just like, I'm going to film a little bit. Uh, then we're going to come back and do the next little bit. I don't want to, because those are kind of the boring part, picking out the pages and things. And I didn't want to just overly bore you guys. So we did a quick little thing on picking up the pages. Then we did the cutting the pages. I wish I could find some really pretty gray and white ephemera to put in this. Like the black, I've got black and white ephemera. Um, and some of it is gray, but don't claw my chair bug. Got a brand new chair that she's already clawed a couple times. So I keep a blanket on it while the blanket fell. She seems to think that now she can climb on the back of the chair because I'm sitting in it. And I don't want her getting that idea in her cute little head. So I've got a bottle that I'm going to spray. I know I'm going to fill it up with water to support her with when she's at spots. I don't want her to be in here because she's my baby. I love her. She follows me around like a good little buggy wug. But I don't want her clawing and getting into stuff in here. Generally, she's pretty good. She just sleeps and then just wants some loving. But, like, normally if I, I shut the door, she is crying because she wants to be back in near me. Well, the other day, she was laying on the bed that I made for Mr. Marvel Man. And so I just kind of cracked the door. I said, you come in? And she just kind of looked at me and went, meh, eh, eh. So I left the door cracked. And she was fine in here as long as she knew she could get out to see me. Now, if she wouldn't have been able to, then she'd have been scratching at the door, clawing at it, and crying. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. You crooked. Okay, I think that's okay. I want to, yeah, that's what I was worried about. Daggone it. 
Do I need to re-glue that? Let's just leave it be for now. What I was trying to do is because I moved it all over the place, I wanted to make sure there was no glue sticking this shut since we are using this as a baby pocket. I didn't want any glue. And who did I see that? I think uh, Juliet Camellia Craft Designs. I've seen her do that using the using some device to get underneath. So let me know what you guys think about the new microphone setup. I was actually looking at cameras the other day to have an actual camera that video records. But then I thought, well, I've only got 12 subscribers at the time. I don't need to be spending all this money in case it doesn't pick up. That's part of my OCD issue is I'm a fixator. Uh, so I tend to fixate on the things that I want until I get them. Unless I can sometimes, I since I've learned that I have this, I do better. Um, I put stuff like in my shopping cart and wait. And if I truly, 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 truly want it, um, after a week or two, I'll get it. If not, I'll let it go into my save for later pile. And I'm trying to think rationally about this because then that would mean I'd have to buy a new arm to hold it and probably better lighting and a better microphone. And I'm not trying to go down that rabbit hole yet. Right. So this is what we have. We're going to call that, uh, I don't know, do they look like they're playing in a well? I don't know. So we're going to call that number one. Number two is going to be the castle bridge. Number three is going to be the fussy cut flower. And number four is going to be the other flower. So again, if you want to join the Lucky 13 giveaway, please like, subscribe, comment and then message which one you want one two three or four i'm actually going to put a little so i know which ones there are one two three four so now let's just do a quick little testy test and see how these are um oh. I'm just going to do let's just see what we can do nope that's too big oy vey do I have nothing that will fit okay so pocket pretty tight so I need to go back in and That's better. Pocket. 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 They work. All right. I will see you when I see you. Bye-bye.